This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the new project that this is a third in the series of the, I call it the Widowmaker. <laughs> what I'm showing you here is really interesting. This is a copy or a, another cell like the cell I've been showing. It's four plates. And if you notice, it looks just like the other cell. It's put together no differently as such. And we're going to turn it on. Your amp's on the right, your voltage on the left. Now watch what happens here. If you look real close, you're going to see the big bubbles coming out of the top. This is what normally happens. So if you're trying to duplicate the experiment that I've been working on, chances are this is what you're going to get. You can see we're not quite at 2 amps. 11.88. I haven't changed the water in here. We're working with lye and distilled water. Again, if you haven't already tried to put one of these together, here we go. Now, this is the unit that I've been working with. This is the real unit. Four plates. Looks exactly like the other one, except for the modification. Now, watch. This is really interesting, and this is why I believe this is why no one else has, to my knowledge, come across this. There's the other plate. That's the one I was put in, using just before this. The reason no one else has come across this is because the first time, without any modifications, you're going to get the nothingness or the bubbles that I showed you just a minute ago. Now I'm going to take this out again and I'm going to show you the other system that looks identical. This is a, a why a lot of things in science gets brushed over until someone falls on it. I'll pull up, pull out the real system. I'm using that word sparingly only because there is a slight modification in this. And then I'm going to put the other one back in, which would be like somebody trying to copy what I just did. Again, the Voltage on the left. I haven't changed the batteries and I haven't changed the water. This is still lie in here, the same exact water. Whoops. Okay. This is the copy that we're looking at here. Wired exactly the same way. There's just a slight modification in the other system. Before I forget, for some reason YouTube has a problem in the last video I put out. You cannot do any postings to it. It has nothing to do with me. I've been trying to get to the postings all day. It won't let me do it. it won't let me get to them. There's hundreds of po or a lot of postings to it. I'm probably going to end up having to delete this video and reinstall it again. Here we go again. This again is the copy. And you can see the large bubbles coming out of it. Without the modification, this is what you get. So we could have gone over this a hundred times and not come up with the right system.
again, we're running at close to 2 amps, not quite, but it's not putting out any hydrogen. Again, unless, in case you didn't miss it, somehow YouTube is not allowing posting to the last video. That is not me. I've re, or I'm reinstalling the website hydrogentap.com. You might check that out. It's hydrogentap, T-A-P dot com. I just started reinstalling it. You'll watch it grow. Again, this was the copy. And we're going to put the project back in, which looks identical except for a modification. Again, the water's the same, the battery's the same. The only difference is a slight modification in this system, in this cell. The question is, of course, whether you can bring this modification up to a larger scale. Which brings me to this thought or answer. I had one or I've had a lot of emails saying that it was the amount of volume in the water that was causing that amount of hydrogen. In other words, the volume of water compared to the size of the cell. I just proved to you that's not true. Here's the real project and you can see right here the amount of hydrogen coming out of it. You could see in the last copy what was happening. Nothing like this. It's a slight modification that's causing this hydrogen to come out, which is really interesting. Could have been playing around with these cells forever and not come across this because the first time or the second time you put the cell in, if it's not doesn't have this slight modification, it is going to look like it won't work. You can see how much hydrogen is coming off of this. At this point, I am trying to put together a model of it so that I can duplicate it and share it. It's taking a long time to do that because the modification is unique. Again, this is the third video. I call this the widow maker. With this unit, I believe we've set back the all the information that we've thought about before. That's the amperage versus voltage. I don't believe that has any play in this at all. It's not the amperage versus the voltage where there's obviously got to be a, a place where the voltage and the amperage fit. But as you can see, one plate versus the other actually you don't even have to see that. When you see the amount of hydrogen coming off of this at less than three amps. That should answer the question. Here I've put two of the plates side by side, or two of the cells. If you were looking at them, you wouldn't know which one was